Hi everybody and welcome back to another Jamboard video from Evolve EdTech. My name is Tristan and I am so happy that you have joined us again. Today we're looking at a, another one of our 20 Jamboard templates that we have created and it is the Idea Organizing Web. So if you've watched our previous video, we looked at the Evidence Web uh, and I think this is just a natural progression from that to something a little bit more complex not necessarily more complicated, but it does require a little bit more detail information to be able to use it successfully. So I'm going to share that one with you today, give you some suggestions and uh, ways that you could use this. So before we get into having a look at the idea organizing web, uh, as I said, my name is Tristan. I am the person behind Evolve EdTech. You may know us if you've been with our journey before. We used to be known as the EdTech teacher. We have evolved, we have grown, we have changed, we have rebranded so that we can pay it forward and share our love of EdTech with you in a new and innovative way. So thank you for coming and joining this journey with us. Now, I do this in every video and um, I will continue to do it. But if you haven't done so already and you're not part of the Evolve EdTech YouTube community, I would love it if you could subscribe to the Evolve EdTech YouTube channel. It will give me some inspiration and motivation to continue making great videos uh, that are useful for you to help you with your EdTech journey. So please uh, go and subscribe to our channel, send it out to your family, friends, your colleagues, and help us grow the Evolve EdTech community. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's head over to the Evolve EdTech website where I will show you where to access the Jamboard templates. There are 20 templates at the moment. There will be more templates added over time as I make them. And they are available absolutely free for you to use in your classroom with your students. So go and have a look at them and see what you could do with those templates and how you could get and engage your students using the awesome power of Jamboard. So all you need to do to access these is head to evolveedtech.com. That is our brand new website and a brand new address. So evolveedtech.com, it is uh, just scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. So head to that website. When you head to the website, just head up the top here to the Evolve Resources tab. And when you hover over that, you will see the Jamboard page. So just head down to Jamboard Templates eCollection number one to access the 20 templates. So you will see here that there are 20 uh, templates that we have created, an initial 20. And as I mentioned, there will be more going up in the other eCollections over time and they are available for you to use. So if you haven't seen this before, they are listed in alphabetical order, so they are easy to find and locate, and it's set up in an accordion style. So once you open one of these sections, it will show you an image of the template. They are available in four different colors, uh, four different colors for you to choose which one is the most appropriate for you. There's a little description of the template and then you'll be able to click on the link to download the template and use it as you wish. So today we are up to this one here, the idea organizing web. So it's a bit of a progression from the evidence web, which we showed in uh, a couple of videos um, ago. Um, and it's kind of just a little bit more complex. It actually requires a few more ideas and levels compared to the evidence web. So let's click on the idea organizing web. And essentially, it's just a way for us to take a topic, identify some kind of sub ideas, and then maybe identify some more specific examples or evidence. So taking something specific, identifying four very specific subcategories or relationships or ideas, and then going one step further by identifying that evidence and those examples. So let's go and have a look at uh, one of these templates today. I think I'm gonna go for the green one. Now, as I have mentioned in a, a previous video, you can click on the links and open them. We'll need to make a copy and I'll show you how to make a copy in a second. Or if we right click on our link and we go open link as a new tab, it's going to open the link in a new tab rather than the same tab that we're currently working in. So if you want to go back 
and access another template, we would have to go up, we would have to open a new tab, type in evolveedtech.com again and go that way. But if we right click and we open in a new tab, we've actually saved ourselves a big step there. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to need to make a copy so that it goes into our workspace, into our drive, so that we can use it again in the future. It's really simple to do that. All you need to do is head up the top of your page. Once it loads, you will see a blue share button come up here in the top right-hand corner. And next to that share button, you'll see that there's three magical dots. If you click on those magical dots, we're just going to scroll down and click on make a copy. That is going to go into our workspace, into our drive, so that we can use that and we can manipulate and edit and, um, and, and share and send and save and whatever else you'd like to do with this template yourself. So with this template, it might be something that you use after you complete a, a reading, a topic, a module, um, because it does require us to kind of consolidate what we've been thinking and identify really specific examples and evidence to support some of the ideas or themes that are represented in the, the text or the topic that we've been looking at. So with this one here, what we're doing is in the middle of our page, we are going to put our topic. So I'd probably grab a, a text box here. Uh, I would write my topic there. So maybe we say something like, uh, maybe we're, we're studying some form of poetry. We're looking at a novel. So let's say we might go themes in uh, trash, which is a great uh, novel. All right, so maybe this time we're looking at particular themes that are represented in, in this, particular, this particular novel. So that's the topic that we're focused on. Uh, just a rem reminder up the top, you've got a few very basic editing tools. Um, we've got our alignment, left, right, and center. We can change our text color here, so I might make it white. And we can change the size of our font a little bit, um, but just be aware of our spacing and we don't obviously want something that's not going to fit. So that one's fitting pretty perfectly in there at the moment. So that's great. So what we then do is, so we're, we're, we're looking at say themes in this particular case. I'm an English teacher here in Australia. So we would look at the themes, the big ideas that have been represented and explored in a text. So what I might get the students to do is identify four themes or big ideas that have been explored or represented. Okay, and then I would write these again with my, my text box. Um, this time we, we're going to have to rotate so that it fits there. So we might say something like poverty. Now, obviously, right now, because the text is the same size as the text I used for my topic, it's probably a little bit too big. So I'm going to go and have to change that a little bit. And I'm not sure the color is the best color because I can't actually read the white. So I'm going to go up here and I might make this yellow, I think, because that's going to be, uh, that's going to work there. So obviously I'm going to need to turn that around so it fits in my box. So I can center it as much as I can. So it looks really good. So we might say an example of a theme explored in trash is poverty. Then what I'm going to get the students to do is maybe share some examples or some evidence, some quotes that we can put into these evidence boxes. So I want them to give me two specific examples of where we see poverty in the novel Trash, all right? So we've got our topic, we've got our reason, our statement, our focus area, and then we're going that one step further by identifying some evidence or examples. Now, I've used this for looking at poetry, so I've studied Wilfred Owen's poetry before. We might say, what are some of those themes or ideas represented in Wilfred Owen's poem? All right, they are my reason, they are my statements. Then give me a line or give me some lines from the poem that is an example, a textual example, to show us and to support that theme. So there's lots of things that you could do here. OK, we could even use this probably uh, in primary school in those earlier years. So maybe we have our, our topic. All right. 
we have our idea and then we might even have instead of writing something for our example or evidence it might actually be an image we might actually go and insert an image there all right there's so many different things that you could do with this one but it's a really nice way to kind of consolidate your ideas so maybe we're looking at writing an essay, we're looking at writing a report, some persuasion, all right? Our, our, our persuasive piece could work here. So we might have our topic in the middle, our persuasive topic, and then our reason and statements, okay, could be what we're going to argue for or against. And then our evidence or example could be what we're going to use to justify our position. So there is a lot of possibilities when it comes to using this template in your classroom, okay? Um, it might be something that you might like to coordinate yourself and get your students to share ideas with, or you might like to get students to complete them themselves. Remember, in Jamboard, you can have 20 frames. So this is a frame just here. We can have 20 frames per jam, all right? Um, so just be aware of that if you would like your students to have a single frame each, um, you might need to make a second jam, which we can sort out and you can add to later on. But it's a really great way to get students consolidating ideas, to have reasons or statements, and then to find examples to support those reasons or statements, okay? So it's kind of like perhaps even the um, the essay planning tree per se, but this time it's just we're doing it as, as, as a web. So we're just fleshing it out a little bit more and making sure that we have the evidence, we have the examples, we have the proof to back up what we're saying, to support what we're saying to summarise, to justify, okay? That's what we're doing with the idea organising web. Now, I will show you how to add uh, additional organising webs if you'd like to use them again. We just head up the top here and we expand the frame panel. We're going to click on the three magical dots and duplicate our frame again, all right? Just be aware that it will duplicate whatever is in the previous frame. So if you wanna create one for every student, perhaps do it while the frame is blank and hasn't been used so that you're not having to go in there and, and remove text and information or have students remove text and information. So just be aware of that because it'll make your life much easier in the long run. So that's how you um, can duplicate and you can use the idea organizing web. Now, also another great uh, aspect of Jamboard is the ability to share and download. So if we head up to the three magical dots again, we can download it as a PDF. If we want to give it to our students in a PDF format, we can download the frames as images. So if you want to pop them into slides, into your sites, into your Google Classroom, if you want to email them to students, you can do that as well. Really simply, really easily. But the idea organising web, it's a nice way to summarise our ideas, to consolidate, to be very concise, all right? So we're not looking at a whole heap of things. We're looking at four very specific reasons or statements that link to a topic, a text, an idea, a module, a unit, whatever we're looking at. And then we're finding very specific examples or evidence to support our reasons. A really simple Evolution from the the um, the evidence web, which is one of our previous Jamboard templates, to now having some more specific examples and ideas to connect to our our topic. So that is the idea organizing web. I hope you have seen uh, how valuable this could be. It could be really good to help students summarize topics. All right, get ready for exams, just to prepare, just to think just to see what they know. So have a look at that uh, that template and see what you might be able to do with it in your classroom. Um, so that is available from the Evolve EdTech website with it absolutely free and in those four wonderful colours. Well, that is the idea organising web uh, template. Now, before I head off and uh, I let you, you go, but thank you so much, much for watching again just another reminder that if you've done so already please subscribe to the Evolve EdTech YouTube channel all right so please subscribe please get your friends family your colleagues to subscribe it would make me feel uh absolutely marvelous to have so many people out there in the world supporting me on my journey to becoming a, a well-known and uh, hopefully inspirational EdTecher 
over time. You can also catch up with us on socials. We are on Facebook. We do have an Instagram page, but I am more active on Twitter. So please come and tweet with me. Uh, I will definitely follow you back if you follow me because I think that is is nice. Um, so please come and be part of our social community and be part of Evolve EdTech. Well, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tristan. I am the person behind the Evolve EdTech team. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos looking at our 20 Jamboard templates from Evolve EdTech coming very soon. Until next time, everybody, stay safe.